Hey y'all, it's Crystal. Welcome. Um, just a, a little book chat today. I want to talk about a, um, a, a book that I got through NetGalley. So of course, thank you to NetGalley. And it is Little Bird by Tiffany Murray. And um, it's coming out June 7th. So just right around the corner. So I wanted to go ahead and get this video out. And just, you know, let you know about it a little bit and see if you would like to pick it up. So I had wanted to read this one. One, the cover is cool, right? I mean, that's that's a that's a no-brainer. Uh, but two, it just sounded really cool. Like it has like it was something about plants, and I was like, all right, that sounds weird and cool. I want to check it out. So, so I did. So we uh, the gist of the story. It's kind of a little hard to explain. It is a slightly strange little story, so I'll do my best. Um, so we're following our main character, Josie. Now Josie, she's slightly, you know, she's slightly down on her luck right now. She's like going through, through some things, you know what I mean? <laughs> and um, she's like living alone by herself with her dog, Chihuahua, who's very important to the story. Yeah, her dog is super cute. <laughs> and, and, um, so she lives alone and she has this little you know business that she runs but it's a kind of work from home situation she doesn't really leave her house very much it's it's a thing right she's going through some things she her dad has somewhat recently passed away she has re, you know somewhat recently been divorced she has a rocky relationship at best with her mother you know Oh, and on top of that, she's a, she's definitely an alcoholic. She drinks, she drinks a lot to excess pretty much daily. She's not living, she's not living her best life, shall we say. And one day, now this takes place in the Sonora Desert on a cul-de-sac in a, you know, nondescript neighborhood. So she is just kind of looking, taking her dog out, I think, to the, you know, to go to the bathroom she's in her backyard which is basically just dirt because she lives in the desert and like one day she pop comes out and she's like there's this kind of like weed this had popped up you know in kind of the middle of the yard she's like oh it's probably just a weed because i don't do crap back here in my yard <laughs> so you know uh, whatever it's just a weed it'll be fine next day that weed has grown quite exponentially and then vined out through the backyard. She's like, I mean, that kind of was pretty quick. Yeah, that kind of got pretty big, right? But, you know, she's avoiding hard things in her life right now. So she just doesn't, she's like, that's a problem for future Josie. So the next day, well, damn if it, of course, hasn't multiplied exponentially. Vines all over the yard. Uh, it's, yeah, it's out of hand at this point. And something has popped up in the middle of that vine. Also, it's a skeleton. And this skeleton just wants to chat with Josie. Yeah. So of course, as the story goes on, we learn what it you know, what is this skeleton? What does it want with Josie? <laughs> what is going on here? Why are these vines growing everywhere? What's going on? <laughs> we will, we learn, we figure it all out sooner or later. And like I said, it's just a, it's a strange little story. <laughs> and basically as she's dealing with, she's forced to deal with the skeleton in the backyard, right? It's a physical thing and the vines are getting out of control. They're going over the neighbor's fence and her, yeah. It's she's having to face it and having to face the skeleton. She's having to kind of face these things that she's been avoiding of her past, her, oh, sad grief about her father she and her father were just you know peas in a pod and you know she has definite loss with her father that she has not really come to terms with again this marriage that has just that just didn't work out you know did not you know it didn't end up being the relationship that she had wanted and again this kind of strained relationship with her mother and and just you know, really Josie is like what is she wanting from life you know what is what are you wanting here you know what where's the future Josie where 
in a year are you still going to be doing this same thing kind of thing and so that was pretty interesting you know to really see Josie work through some of this I mean and not always in the best way she could be a bit of a smart aleck and she was kind of funny and definitely uh, very good at avoiding these kinds of things and self-medicating like I said with alcohol um, so yeah that's kind of the crux of the story of Josie coming to terms with the things in her life that she's well, really can't avoid anymore at this point, right? And it was funny, she also has this neighbor that it moves into the next door house, and her name is Sue. And she's kind of an older woman, you know, like 50s or so, 50s or 60s maybe. And she's like, oh hell, you know, she doesn't want to deal with this neighbor. And then but Sue gets all wrapped up in this as well, and, you know, and she's a really she's a really cool character I think I really enjoyed Sue and um and yeah so overall I just I had fun with this one it was um I guess it was just it was a nice quick story it was it's just over a couple hundred pages it's, it was very readable I moved through it pretty quickly Josie as a character even though she's you know she's got a lot of self-pity she's not really making the best decisions you, you felt for her you know what I mean um and you wanted her to, <laughs> you know, you wanted her to do well, you know, and, um, you know, so you definitely root for her as a character, and, um, it's just this oddness of this, this talking skeleton, I mean, literally pops up in her backyard, right, so it's, if you're looking for just kind of an offbeat little, I don't know, kind of kooky little story that's got a bit of emotion to it, um, it's def just interesting characters and a darn cute little chihuahua then I would check this one out. I, I, I just, I had a good time with it. And uh, I thought the writing, you know, again, I just, I thought the writing was, was pretty good. And, um, it was definitely an interesting story. So yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't want to say too much more because again, it was short. So, um, anything else? Yeah. It'll give things away. So, <laughs> um, but if you're looking for just a short, strange little story about a talking skeleton and would like to know more what does this skeleton really want from Josie then definitely check out Little Bird again it's coming out June 7th and um, you know it might be worth your time if you are just are looking for something a little out of the ordinary so that's gonna do it for me I hope that I uh, hope you're doing well and thanks so much for spending some time with me. You know, I always appreciate it. Until next time, that's going to do it for me. Bye, friends.